We have rival rewards waiting for us, plus the board is ready for us to roll the dice for some more packs, obviously. Yo, what's going on Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to episode 4 of Monopoly Hut. Today we have a little bit of catching up to do from the last episode. So looking at Hut here, we do have our rival rewards available. I don't know what we finished last week. I want to say bronze, but we do get a premium players pack, which isn't too bad. And then we get to go to the dice uh, or to the board again to roll the dice for some more packs. So quickly, let's go open up our one pack. We have 10 items, all gold players with at least 280 plus overall players. So let's see what we can get here. Hopefully it's something good. EA bless us. And it's Victor Hedman. First 80 plus and it's an 84 Victor Hedman. That is a huge upgrade to the team. If and when we get his X Factor, we have his base card and we can upgrade him, which is huge. Victor Hedman, welcome to the team. That's a huge upgrade on the back and they might have to get rid of the Muzzin Hall pairing now, which uh, definitely does suck. So I think we get one more 80 plus overall here. Who's it going to be? That's the question. It's Christopher Tanev, which I don't think will make the lineup. Uh, we pull a Bob Probert and a Sean Monaghan. So not bad. We get Monaghan and Victor Hedman, who are both going to be upgrades to the team. Let's go throw them on there. So Sean Monaghan is going to come in for Chris Tierney, dude. I mean, I, I, I've liked Tierney. Maybe we'll get rid of Bonino, uh, even though we just got him. Uh, but Sean Monaghan coming in for Nick Bonino. And then we are going to throw Nick Bonino first line center. And Chris Tierney will go second line. And Kerfoot's going to stay on the fourth because we're keeping the pack line together, obviously. And then Victor Hedman's going to get rid of Dmitry Orlov, essentially. Um, we just got him, but yeah, that's what's going to happen. And what we're going to do here is we're going to keep uh, Muzzin and Hall together on that second pairing. And Rasmus Anderson's going to be playing with Victor Hedman. I like it. Now, looking at the board here, last we left off, we were on pack line. So we have a chance of special packs, two uh, premium packs, buy any player, community chest, a bunch of packs, and pink slips. So let's see what we can do here. First roll of the episode. And we get a two. So a two is open up two premium packs. So don't mind if I do. I don't think we're going to top a Victor Hedman, man. If we got special packs, there are some good special packs out in the store right now. But we have uh, two premium packs to open. Uh, good luck pulling an 83 plus 3.7% 3 chance. You never know. Maybe we get a little bit lucky today, but I highly doubt it. So here we go. First pack out of the two that we get to open. Um, let's see what we can get. Something that helps the team. Ryan Fitzgerald will not be helping the team. Neither will Scott Harrington um and I, I bet you that's gonna be it for this pack yeah man these premium packs are so rough it's actually insane we have one more pack to open if we don't get an upgrade it's fine because we pulled that headman and that sean monahan but it'd be nice to get at least one more upgrade before we head into the first game of the episode tanner is not gonna help us out there uh we get a gold jersey we got a brandon davidson not gonna help us out as well uh just some more gold jerseys um marcus hoberg uh sean walker doubt he'll make the team and that is it so you know what we're gonna chalk it up as zero upgrades and that was a waste of points <laughs> with that being said let's head into our first rivals games here uh we're gonna try to rank better than bronze this week hopefully but the team's looking good you guys seen the upgrades already we're good to just head into a game here so let's do it first game of the episode martian 91 matthews 83 kopitar this this is gonna be interesting all right let's let's try our best here get a win uh let's go over to victor hedman in his debut that's a big save i think he's got vasilevsky in that so this shall be interesting but it doesn't matter where is this puck that's gonna get across no it isn't ricard raquel it's in the corner buddy take it to the net ricard raquel make it a one nothing hockey game great start from this first line they were on for the first like what seven eight minutes it's fine though monahan gets a point in his debut Raquel gets a goal. one nothing hockey game. We love that. There you go. Chris Tierney. Got demoted to the second line, but he was doing great on the top line for sure. Jake Muzzin. Over to Justin Hall. That's a good shot. Chris Tierney. Take it to the net. Chris Tierney. Good save. Panarin's puck. Try to get him some upgrades today. Same with Kyle Connor. Artemi. Take the shot and Artemi Panarin, lay kick. I hurt myself again. That's an upgrade. We love to see it. Artemi Panarin makes it 2 nothing, And it's an unassisted goal. Things you love to see. Jonas Donskoy, great defensive play. The pack line is here to play still, obviously. There you go, Donskoy. He just got a poke on that. We're fine. Get that across. Oh my god, what a save. We almost made it 3 nothing in the first. Bump him. Bump him. There we go. Verhage. 
Over across! Oh, Vasilevsky's robbing us now. Looking at the stats, 12 shots to a zero. He paused it for some reason, by the way. 12 shots to a zero, and I think he quit. This is going to be the shortest Monopoly HUD episode ever. God, all right, we will take that. That's a W in our books. Panarin got an assist before, or got a goal before this kid could leave. So we get an upgrade there, which is huge. So looking here, we're getting our rivals points. Um, great start to the, to the episode. This guy had a god squad, and we were able to beat him. We are now in bronze, very close to silver, give or take. Um, and yeah, looking at the stats, I mean... Yeah, so we did complete a bunch of objectives before we go and upgrade Panarin. So there's some coins in our bank account. Uh, we get a base pack to open and we get two base packs to open. So, I mean, those premium packs were garbage. These base packs are probably going to be even worse. So we'll open that before we go and upgrade our Temi Panarin. We're probably just going to skip these, man. I doubt there's going to be anything in these. So let's skip them. Uh, oh, okay. Oscar Limblom. That's an upgrade to the team. We will definitely take that. Welcome, welcome. And that's it for that. So, hey, 81 player there. An 81 rated player is what I meant to say. So, that's an upgrade to the team. Oscar Limblom. And then in this one, absolutely nothing, which is expected of these base packs. Now, looking at my team here, I think the odd man out is going to be Tyler Mott. He's been great on this first line. Uh, I don't know why he's been playing first line this whole time. But Oscar Limblom's going to be coming in for him. So don't mind if I do. The first line's looking pretty sharp right now. Monaghan, Raquel, and Limblom. And we did not forget about this, but our Temi Panarin gets to get an upgrade, and he's now up to an 82 for 2,500 coins. That's looking great. So our Temi Panarin with a big upgrade there. Um, and now the second line's looking even better. We need Connor to get a couple more upgrades, but besides that, it's looking good. All right, guys, so last roll, we left off on two premium packs, so we're hoping for something good here. Buy any player, community chest, more packs, paying slips, so let's see what we can get. Rolling for the last time this episode, and we get a five. So five has opened up two more premium packs. Um, why not? So we're in the store here. We got to open up two more premium packs, hope for an upgrade here before we hop into the final game of the episode here. First game went very well. Hopefully the second game will uh, follow suit, obviously. So let's see what we can get in these packs here. Again, these premium packs are not the greatest, so I don't really expect too much from them. Like, yeah, Matt Luff is not going to make the team, obviously. And uh, Belmar probably won't make it as well. So it's a dud of a pack. All right, and last pack of the episode. We've opened up a lot of packs this episode, to be fair. This is the last one, though. So we're hoping for something big here, obviously. Something that'll help the team out. Um, we already pulled head in this episode, which was a huge upgrade. Can we top that? I don't think we'll be able to, but you just, you never know. Last card and it's nothing. Oh my goodness. Not even one upgrade. We might have well, we might as well have not even opened up those packs. All right. Since the first one went so well, let's hop into the second one right away and, uh, hope for the same result here. Let's, let's get an early rage quit. Second and final game of the episode, Hatrick Heroes. He has 91 Yager, Dry Seidel, and I couldn't see who the last player was. Listen. We're learning here quickly that it's not about who he has on the team, but it's the player himself. So, let's see what happens here. There we go. Good pass. Let's go Panarin. To the point. Over to Hedman. Nice try, Victor. Good pickup from Tierney. Let's go. Make something of it. Low shot. Get the rebound. That wasn't really low. Get that across. Tierney. Oh my god, that's a great save from Tuka Rask. I bet you it's at 88 Tuka Rask as well. Let's go, Marino. Dude. Okay. Um. That's tough. one nothing. I'm not going to complain. The game feels very delayed is what I was about to say. Uh, okay, one nothing hockey game. Let's go. Let's go, Monahan. On a front. Kerfoot. What a save, Tuka Rask. Oh, dude, I felt like I knew he was going to go right back there. I wasn't directly on him, so I get why that pass got through. Good goal. 1-1 one, one hockey game. I want to see what cards they are, and they're not going to show me it. Great stuff, EA. There you go. Let's go, Rasmus Anderson. He's through. Rasmus Anderson, what a take. And our defenseman is leading the charge on offense today. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Good stuff from Rasmus Anderson. Assisted from none other than Mr. Brady Kachuk on the pack line. Good stuff. 2-1 hockey game. And one, we are up 2-1. Five shots to his three. 245 to 137 on time and attack. He's a good player. Like, no doubt in my mind, he's a good player. He's got a good team. Kane, uh, Nurse, 88 Dry Seidel. There's Joe Neuendijk. Um, and it is the 88 Tuka Rask. I knew it. So we got to keep uh, going here. One more goal. I feel a little bit safer and then we can clamp up on defense. But I do want that one more goal. Bang. Good save. 
It's still in front. Konechny. Travis Konechny makes it a 3-1 hockey game. What did I say? I needed one more and then we could clamp up on D. And that's the plan. We are clamping up now. Kerfoot from Konechny. Or Konechny from Kerfoot. Let's go. Need a bump from someone. You know, I wanted to switch to John Marino that whole time. Player switching in NHL 22. NHL in general is absolutely horrible. 3-2 hockey game because they couldn't give me the player I wanted. Thank you. John Marino, take a low shot, try to get a rebound there from Panarin. Not exactly where I wanted that puck, it works out somehow though. Take it to the net, nice try. There you go Raquel. There we go, just straight line Raquel. Over to Connor, Kyle Connor, and that's an upgrade for Mr. Kyle Connor. We get to upgrade Panarin and Connor in the same episode for what, the third or second straight episode. Awesome stuff, we regain the two goal lead as well. We love it. That's his AI hitting me. Oh my god, bro. That play is so OP this year. It's insane. 3.9 seconds and we're back to a one goal game. Just get the puck out. I, I, I'm so bad. Take a shot before the period ends. All right, that's fine. A horrible way to end the period, man. We regain the two goal lead and then we give one up with 3.9 seconds. Looking at the stats, it's a close game. Given the score, that's why it's close. I couldn't get the words out of my mouth. All right, we need to just continue the, the way we're playing. Be a little bit better defensively, obviously, and we should be laughing all the way to the bank. Over to Anderson, the deflection. Are you kidding me? That's a good save from Tuca. Good block. My God, that still gets to him. And he gets that puck over me. Out of boy, Jake Muzzin. Huge defensive play. To Kyle Connor. What a save, bro. That could have been another Kyle Connor upgrade. Panarin. That's an Artemi Panarin upgrade. Late kick again. I don't even care. I'll pull my groin all day. That's another upgrade for Artemi Panarin. Connor gets an assist on it. It's a two-goal hockey game again. We restore the two-goal lead. Let's go. Good save. I didn't get my board play. And, okay, 9.6 seconds left. We're fine. We are absolutely fine. We are absolutely fine. I'm not worried. It's a 5-4 hockey game. It's okay. I'm not too worried. I'm a little worried, actually, but it's fine. We got to tie this up. I'm going to forehand tie it. Come on. We need a face-off win. Beautiful. Dump it in. I don't even care. Jonas Donsko is getting there. Took a chuck. Oh, we could have put the game away there. It's fine. We take the win. That's back-to-back -back wins. And more importantly, Connor and Panarin get upgrades again this episode. Huge win, man. We, oh my god, I'm just so happy with the way I played today. I'm happy with the way this team played today. So we complete another objective there. Looking at the stats, man, it was a hella close game. Before we go look at the stats here, uh, just want to reconfirm. Connor with a goal and Panarin with a goal, so they both get an, up an upgrade as well, which is absolutely huge. Did not mean to hit that. So quickly here, we are going to collect, we are going to go collect our objective. So that's 350 coins. And then we completed a milestone, which was take shots on goal, and we get another base pack. So let's go open up that base pack quickly, and then we get to upgrade Panarin and uh, Kyle Connor, which is huge. So we're just going to skip this. I, I don't expect anything from this year. And no, we got Andreas Borgman, Zend Zdeno Chara, and TJ Brennan, who still plays hockey. So that is it. That's fine. Uh, that was just another free pack to open there. So back to our team. Who, our team has been playing amazing, amazingly, I cannot talk today. Our Temi Panarin gets another upgrade, which we do have a power-up collectible. So, we get our Temi Panarin up to an 84. I was not going to spend 20k, we didn't have 20k for him. So, our Temi Panarin's up to an 84. And Kyle Connor will be going up to an 80. So, that is huge for both players. Our second line is looking so much better. We might even put Panarin up on the first line next episode. You guys let me know if you guys want to see that. But because I, I've been really liking Ricard Raquel with Monaghan and Lindblom. But if you want to see Panarin playing top line minutes, we can get him more upgrades that way. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's Monopoly HUD episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, we are so close to 4,000 subscribers, guys, man. Like, it's actually insanely crazy how close we are to it. So if you guys are new around here, you guys are enjoying the content, hit that sub button down below. We upload three times a week here. Anyways, guys, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace